Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Lands of Lore, the Throne of Chaos. We have just collected Paulson from the Urbish Mines. This is him right here. Uh, he's a good fighter and he has some decent equipment on him for the moment. He's, he's not as great as Bokata, obviously. But uh, he'll pull his weight and oh, he's got a lot of hit points to bring to the table. He also gave us some of his equipment, which included this particular little item here, Valence Cube. We have heard about Valence Cubes down in video 1, where it said it could drain the essence of magical beings. I think it was something like that. Uh, this was a portal created, a portal, uh, a barrier created by a magical being, and we can drain its essence. Hey, I think it's working. We You're damn right it's working. This barrier. Yeah, yeah, working on it. We are working on it. That did absorb the Valence Cube, but it opened up the remainder of... What's it called again? Upper Oppenwood. There's a passageway there. Let's check this place out first. Okay, that's definitely a dead end. Passageway it is! It leads to the Wyvil Woods, gentlemen. Yes. This stump has been picked clean. More forests for us to explore. More awesome music while doing it. And Wyvil, did we didn't we hear about the, the city of Wyvil and a particularly pub? Wasn't it Bruno's Lodge that was in Wyvil City? Actually, I, I do think I know somewhat the direction to Wyvil City. And I'd rather go there before we go anywhere else. So let's let's see if we can find the city that should be somewhere in these forests. Oh. Another one of those barriers. Apparently Scotia put up several ones of them. And we only had one Valen cube. So I can't explore further in that particular direction. That leaves only one way to go. Further into the forest. What's this? Maybe this is the white tower where we can create the elixir. Yeah, but we're still ingredients short. I mean, we have Bloodstone, which is hopefully the flesh of a creature that has never lived. We have the sweetness of our enemy, and we have um, whatever the cryptic thing was that for the, for the swamp stuff. But uh, we were still missing one key ingredient, so I don't want to go into the White Tower just yet. Also, I've heard that it's quite a dangerous place. The higher up you go into that particular tower, the nastier things get quickly. This stump has been so we'll just clean. have fun in the forest here. This stump has been picked clean. And it's a big forest. It's quite in the forest. Lots of corners and cracks. A lot of little circles that confuse the hell out of me. Without this magic atlas, I would probably need a thousand hours to finish this game. If I even could at all. This is mm -hmm. a mostly an empty Empty. forest, isn't it? I mean, it's big, but there's not a heck of a lot going on. It's just a lot of trees and a lot of nothing. Wand of lightning! Mm -hmm. Just clicking on a tree and I got a wand of lightning. It's awesome. I didn't even know it existed. I know the wand of fireball and I know there's another wand of a particularly spell that we don't know yet in the game. The wand of lightning is pretty damn sweet. Where the hell are we going? <laughs> are we even going anywhere? Okay, we're filling up now. Mm hmm. Empty. Filling up quick. And once again, we've completed the circle. We have to get all the way back here now. That's the only place we haven't explored yet. Which means it's north, until we can't go north any further. 
Here we are, and sidestep a bit, and here we go. It's like dancing. You go one step forward, you go two steps back, you turn around. Just follow the beat. Ah! Ah! ah. These look like orcs, but they're, they're monstrously big. Hey, excellent. We can use that to destroy that other barrier. But my god, these are orcs on steroids. Dire orcs, whatever they are. They're big. They still died in a hurry, though. What is this? Uh-oh, this looks like trouble. Yep. That's Castle Samaria. Okay. This looks crowded. I can't believe this is the only method in which to reach the castle. I can't believe this is the only method. Yep. That's... It looks like several thousand orcs over there. Several thousand orcs. Well, let's hope we leveled up enough. Let's go forward. Last, those vile orcs have severed the bridge. Now we must locate an alternate route to the castle of Sumeria. Actually, I'm quite happy about it because several thousand orcs... Are you shitting me? There is no way we can actually pull that off. Not even with all the basil cups we have in the inventory. Mm -hmm. But we have looted one more valence cube from those orcs Mark II. Mm. Empty. And it also looks like we're running out of force to explore. So I guess we have to head yeah, let's let all the way back to another one of those Scotia barriers that she's put up for us. Uh, I need to go south, right? Yep. South it is. This is quite a uh, annoying forest to walk through. I'm just facing south and trying to find whatever leads south. Okay, this is familiar. I should head in this direction, I suspect. And there it is! I actually have some sense of direction. Not a lot, but some. Maybe we should carry a compass in real did. life. We must destroy this barrier. And there it is, another Valence cube down the drain though. Let's hope she uh, didn't make too many of these. Shield of Stealth. It's not better than the one we have. Equalizer. It's a good one, but it's not as good as Valkyrie. I think we're close to the city now, and this worn key is not good for anything. And I'm not dragging it around any longer. Once again, it's an indestructible chest. Who? Oh, more of these big fellas. Ah, they can handle Spark quite well too. Let's just fight them and heal up. Sorry, I burped. I hope the microphone didn't pick it up, but I'm drinking uh, uh, stuff with bubbles in it. Come on, hit them already! Paulson is taking a horrible beating. But well, I guess that's what he's there for. Boy, these guys are tough. The first one looked like push elves, really, but uh, these guys uh, are quite sturdy. Of course, we're not doing a heck of a lot of damage on them. But with our magic and all of our stuff in the inventory, we can last quite a bit. They do should start dying now at some point. It's it's fine, you can drop dead whenever you like. Don't be shy now. I'm not being flanked right now. Oh, we have a wand of fireballs. Okay, that took care of one of them. That took the pressure off. One we can handle, I think, yeah. Now let's go to sleep for an hour. Let's hope these guys let us sleep. I'm using the uh, F1 to F3 keys now just to, to plow through them quickly. Of course, Paulson fell unconscious here. Yeah, these are tough buggers. 
These are tough bastards. I don't want to use any more wands, but these guys hit hard and they also always hit Paulson. Poor Paulson. Yeah, Paulson is out again. We're also out of magic. Now let's uh, get him back up. Damn it! Ah, I don't have enough magic. Yeah, because I misclicked. These guys have interesting colors too. They look pretty fierce. And it's wand again. Definitely time for the wand again. Boy, are they tough. Okay. Everybody heal each other now, and let's hope... No, 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 they're not letting us sleep. They're not giving us any time to recover here. Is there any more salve or something in the inventory? Yes. <laughs> Always go for Paulson. Poor guy. Kata's not hitting much. He still has those slashes. Great Maul and Great Maul Hammerhead. I don't think we can give you any more might here now. I guess these guys are just hard to hit. Once again, we've dropped unconscious. No more salve in the inventory. Damn it! We are in trouble. I might actually run the hack away. No, no, why, why should I? We still have basil cups with just one pip on it. <laughs> it immediately also makes some inventory room here. Which is uh, something we can use at this point. Now please just hit him. Kill him. I mean, Akshel is the one hitting here. Boston almost out again. Paulson is down. And Bacata's almost down as well. Time to hit him. Time to kill him. Well, screw it. Another basil cup. This one has four pips on it. Oh, sure. Just make it a tag team, why don't you? Just make it a tag team. This is the first enemy in the game that's actually giving us a very hard time here. And it's because we are fresh out of magic, guys. It's just a long, drawn out battle. Which is exactly what we don't need at this point. That's our last Basil Cup down the drain. Uh, I think you need better armor. Definitely better armor. And my god, am I glad we still have some of these. That worked. Okay, we're out of wands now too. And once again we're facing one enemy. This is the longest and, and toughest battle we've had. These orcs are monstrous. And they're not giving us any rest. Not for a second. Once again, Paulson is down. We'll try and keep Bukata alive at all costs, because uh, he's the, the heaviest hitter of the bunch. Why? Then again, we did increase our uh, magic ability. Once we are uh, completely uh, slept and, and healed up, we got 150 magic. That is a lot. And as soon as somebody now dies, yeah, let's run the heck away. Actually, we can't run away. <laughs> we are trapped. Which means we're in trouble. <laughs> Another full basil cup. I'm gonna start working on it. I'm gonna leave Paulson out of it for now. Actually, we need Paulson. Immediately he switched target to Paulson. Paulson has the weakest defense, I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Once again, Paulson is out. 
Do we still have wands left? I think I have a wand of... Yeah, we still have a few. Jesus. I am so glad I bought those wands. And yet, they keep coming. Relentless bastards as they are. There's just one now though. I wonder how many of them there are. Well, I don't mind. Mukata's fighter 5, fighter 5, and even Axel is slowly creeping up on level 4 now when it comes to fighters. He's getting back. I like it, he woke up and he immediately bashes 21 damage into this critter. Yeah, why would you let us sleep, huh? It's not like we get a psychosis from being awake for like 27 days just fighting you guys now. Forty-eight, ten. Okay. One more should do. Guys, we're out of mana again. And we're in trouble. I guess um, this is no time to be picky about stuff. Let's sleep for just a second. Uh, let's just let it rip. And uh, they just keep coming. I don't know if I'm standing next to a spawn point or anything. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna use whatever I have at this point. Let's, let's I try don't and have enough magic. Oh, you don't I have don't have enough magic. Now you should. Now please, pretty please, with sugar on top. No, of course not. I don't have enough magic. And that's an ugly misclick because I just lost two people because of it. Guys, hit him! Damn it! Hit him! I want to see those 200 damage shots, but apparently these guys have like damage reduction a million. Once again, Paulson is out. He's like a lightning rod. As long as Paulson is alive, he completely ignore the rest of the group. Another misclick. Please heal him up. Nice, thank you. Another wand down the drain. I'm fresh out of wands of fireballs now. This is the lightning one. Ah, they don't like that one. Ah, they're still pretty resilient. That was just a killer blow that I dealt. They're still pretty resistant. That's uh, the wand of lightning down the drain as well. I can still heal up Paulson here. Of course, Bacata is now out of the of, out of the equation. I can run around them, I think. I can. <laughs> I can run around him and get the heck away from this place. Can I make it? Yes, I can make it. Whoo! Of course, there are other critters here, but they're not half as dangerous as the bastards on the other side of that little cave. Now, I could have saved half my inventory if I thought of this f sooner, I guess, but I didn't suspect they would keep coming like this. It's probably better to use other people's magic at this point. Because Axel needs to sleep for days. Boy, that was an expensive fight. I was planning to sell all that crop in the in Wyville City, but we have plenty of inventory space all of a sudden now. Well, with that uh, heavy battle in the back of our minds, I will call this a video. I'll see you tomorrow when we continue to fight.
those bloody orcs. Man, they're tough. <laughs>